An emergency department in PEI is the latest to feel the effects of a shortage of health care workers. The overnight ER at Western Hospital in Alberton is shutting down for the rest of the summer. Garrett Berry has the details on this. So, Garrett, good morning. What can you tell us about the Western Hospital? The Western Hospital in PEI has been plagued with staffing shortages this year. It's shut down that community hospital regularly, and that's been a fact of life for residents in the West Prince area. But this is a sign that there's no relief coming around the corner. Health officials in the province are now making the call to close that overnight emergency room for the rest of the summer. They announced last night that the plan is to keep it closed for at least until September 15th. They're going to send the staff that would normally be working there onto day shifts. The head of Health PEI said in a statement, like everywhere else in Canada, our health care system is under extreme strain. And that's not going to end anytime soon. It's better to make these calls in advance so we can deploy our resources to provide the best care possible. We're seeing similar decisions made in other parts of Atlantic Canada. Here in Newfoundland and Labrador, a rural community has gone without their regular emergency service for more than a month now. The town of Whitburn won't get its ER back for at least another week. Doctor shortages have dominated politics in this province for months. And Garrett, what about the rest of Canada? How is this playing out in other provinces? We can look to Ontario. The nurses union there says 25 hospitals were forced to close or scale back operations over the long weekend. And that's also due to staffing shortages. August will be worse. This is not a matter of a long weekend. We need giant steps to deal with the nursing crisis because nursing is the spinal cord of the system and if you don't have strong nursing, the system collapses. Lake Ridge Health is the health authority that runs the Bowmanville Hospital. The ICU in the Bowmanville Hospital, Bowmanville Hospital rather, shut down and started transferring critical care patients to Ajax Pickering and Oshawa hospitals. And in Quebec, there's other alarm bells being run. The nurses union there says workers are being asked to take shifts even if they are actively sick, experiencing symptoms of COVID-19. Julie Bouchard is the head of a large nurses union. She said it's a small group that's been asked, only about a dozen that she knows, but health officials there have confirmed that asking people to work while they're symptomatic with COVID-19 is not against the rules. So Bouchard is worried that now this is how hospitals and health authorities plan to deal with staffing shortages. Okay, Garrett, thank you.